Alright, so this is what it should sound like. And you're going to etch. Nice and loud. Turn the respirator on and the fan on. For the sake of this video, we're going to turn that off so you can hear me. Just for a second. Because this stuff is strong. Alright, so. Make sure you got gloves on. Um, these are just regular dish gloves. They do work. Um, I do believe that this is um, made out of some type of HDP, high density polyethylene, or and it is very resistant to hydrofluoric. So it won't burn through your gloves. If you do get it on your skin, wash it off. Um, after about 30 seconds, if you leave it on, it will turn it will turn your skin red. That is the first signs of a of a first degree burn. I'm just holding the bottle, I got some on my hand, so we just rinse it off just like that. Just regular, some cold water. No worries, no problem. Okay, don't let it sit on your hand till you start to feel it tingle. Not a good idea. Now, how do we properly etch a tub? Okay, so we're just gonna do this area. I'll show you guys now. Um, I like to get my Scotch Brite pad. It's a little bit damp because it helps smooth it out. Now, you just scrub it into the tub surface like this. Just like that. Now, when I'm doing a tub, I do the whole side here and this. Then we do the top a little bit. Okay, now, if you guys, if this is a glazed tile, a black tile, a shiny tile, we're in an apartment building that's about 40 years old. These are an unglazed tile. Um, the fumes from the etch will not noticeably do anything to the tile. However, if you're in a homeowner's home and you're doing this and they have a nice black shiny or a glazed tile or something, you need to tape this up and you need to tape it up at least 18 inches because the vapor from this will go up the wall and it will etch their tile. And if it etches their tile from the vapor, you're not going to have a very nice day. I'm telling you that. If it etches the tile a little bit, you might be able to polish it out. If it's a hardened porcelain coated ceramic tile, Forget it. You're gonna. You're not gonna be having a fun time because you're gonna have to explain to the homeowner what happened. And uh, yeah, thank God for insurance because you're gonna be making an insurance claim for about a, a three thousand um, dollar job on the guy's bathroom. And he's not gonna be very happy with. It. So mask it up if you're doing anything on a high glazed tile that's noticeable. This probably not so noticeable. So it's not that big of a deal. So that's why we're gonna. We're gonna do this. Um, and then after you put put it on, you can go to the other part of the tub. Don't be silly. Don't start doing this first because you, you're gonna lean all into it. You're gonna get all dirty and it's, it. you know, this soaks through your clothes, you're gonna give yourself a burn. So it's not a good idea. So work smart, work away and then come forward. Again, you see what I'm wearing here? The vapor from this, when it hits your skin, It'll, it'll, it'll give you a sunburn. It'll look like a sunburn, that's a chemical burn. So wear proper clothing like this to stop, to stop it from giving yourself a burn and wear gloves too. Do not try to do this with your hand. You're gonna really regret it. It'll burn you. Okay, so after you etch this once and it's been on there about this long, you go back and you sand it again with the scotch brake pad, like this. Now I call this a double etch. And basically what you're doing is you're actually sanding the porcelain because the etch sat on there long enough to open the porcelain up. It started to go into it. And what you'll notice is, see how it's, I don't know if you can tell it or not, it starts to go a little bit chalky white while you do this. And you know what that is? That's the porcelain, actually, a portion of the porcelain you're actually scrubbing off. That's how strong this stuff is, but that's what you need, okay? That's twice I scrubbed that in. Now when I go to rinse it off, I'm gonna turn the tub on, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of water on my scotch brake pad, and then I'm gonna scrub it one more time, and it's gonna get really diluted, and it's gonna to start to rinse down. And that's where I'm really gonna pay attention to make sure I got all the grime off, all the soap scum off. Then after I've done that, and it's almost pretty much all rinsed down, I'm gonna take my big, huge grout sponge, and I'm just gonna rinse the tub down all with water, clean it all really nice, rinse my sponge a bunch of times in the water. I'll show you guys that. Okay, bye-bye.